Today, Farouk is seven years old. The date is the 26th of May, 2021. We're stepping back in time to the 17th of September, 2017. We've just been, Renz and I have just been to pick him up. And he is used to going in a horse box because he has been shown at top level and he is in show condition as you see here. He's three years old and he's a stallion. And his uh, stud book name is Sacratain Ara. And I apologise if I'm not pronouncing that correctly. His grandfather is world famous. His grandfather's name is Malwa al Shikam, and I'm sure I have not pronounced that correctly. According to Google, the most expensive horse in the world back then. I've put the lights on in the stable so it doesn't look so dark and scary for him because he's um, quite a nervous horse, very spooky and reactive. But of course, that has been a lot to do with his show training. This is the first time he's been in the big field. He's been with us about, uh, I think, three or four weeks now. And we had him castrated uh, the second day of his arrival. He still managed, as you saw, to fall in the ditch, even though I had walked him all the way round the field so that he could see the ditch and the, the white uh, tape on the fence. He, of course, found the muddiest area that he possibly could and he's never changed. He always likes to be a mucky little Arab.
he thought he'd better pour at it a bit more just to get it that little bit more muddy before he rolls again. That's the first time he's ever seen a pheasant. When you have a stallion, you can't just turn them out willy-nilly like you can with a gelding. So um, time in the field was uh, limited for Farouk. So it's all a big learning curve. And as you can see, he can certainly do a high book just like Apollo. If you've been watching um, some of the more recent videos of Farouk, you'll notice that he now is very good when pheasants fly out. He, he hardly jumps, never mind uh, does any of that booking business. <laughs> This is the first time that Apollo and Farouk have been turned out together. They have seen each other through the talk grills for, I, I don't remember now, but it was, it was some weeks um, before I put them in the field together. I took the precaution of putting their thickest rugs on um, so that when they kick out, uh, they don't hurt each other too much, hopefully. Um, obviously it's always a risk when you put horses together for the first time even though they'd been stabled alongside each other could see each other through the bars you, you still um, you know it is a risky business I put the head collars on and left the head collars on so that if I had to run over quickly and uh, grab them Renz and I uh, we could do as you can see there and you'll see here he, he takes uh, a big kick on the chest. Apollo is two years older than Farouk and is a lot heavier and Farouk misses the signs. You can see that Apollo is bringing his hind legs under him and Farouk's obviously missed that because he should have been backing off long before this and he does get both barrels quite hard on his chest. Now that's the best place really for a horse to get kicked. Um, if you think about a stallion and a mare and breeding a mare that's not quite ready she will kick the stallion in the chest so horses have got more protection on the chest anyway so that and the rug i'm sure has helped farouk if you look at apollo's body language you can see he's very stiff his ears are behind him listening to what farouk's doing farouk has decided yes i'm not going to challenge him again just yet and uh, turned away. They're just promenading at the moment, just getting the side of each other. 
uh, Polos uh, immediately turned his back again and adopted the stance. You can see that very stiff stance. And Farouk turned, thinking, I'll avoid that. Again, they're sizing each other up. They're sniffing at each other's breath, their nose breath. And uh, yeah, they just can't quite weigh up who's, who's the, the, the main man at the moment. Farouk has not been castrated that long, so he will still have some stallion hormones in him. Farouk is very quick and very agile. So I've slowed that little moment down. You can see his front foot goes out and then his hind foot goes out and he turns very, very quickly, which is a bit of a shock to Apollo um, because he's a much heavier and therefore a little bit more slow in his um, turns though he is quick for a Frisian got to say that but he's he just thought well I think I'll just uh, make a sharp exit here this is the day that Renz and I went to see Farouk and we bought him straight away and he, we've just been shown how he's lunging round not the easiest of horses In fact, I can say, hand on heart, he is the most um, difficult horse that I have um, broken in, backed, whichever word you like to use. I know some people don't like the word broken, but that is a traditional word. Um, so um, I think it's been replaced now by backed uh, when you actually start working your horse. Um, but he, he, and if you compare him to Bella, um, he is so reactive so quick you have to have your wits about you all the time i've started from scratch this is six horses and that's for myself i don't uh, back any horses for anybody else it's always been a horse that i have wanted to uh, back and bring on for my own use um, and Bella is my sixth. So Farouk was my fifth and uh, definitely out of the six horses he was the most challenging just because he's so quick and spooky. You know things worry him that you wouldn't even think would worry him. I think it's important not to let go of your horse when he's acting up like this. Obviously sometimes you cannot help but let go because of course they're much stronger and drag you about. But um, if you can hold on, that's the best thing, because then they think you're stronger than they are. I know it sounds daft, but they do. As a breed of horse, the Arabian horse is super sensitive. They're very people orientated if you give them a chance. Um, but they're not a horse for someone that's a bit heavy handed or doesn't have a lot of patience because they won't forgive you. They. Um, They'd hold a grudge, I'm absolutely sure of that. They want to be treated with respect and then they will show you respect and give you as much as they can possibly give you. But you have to be firm. You cannot let them get away with things because this, even though they're a lightweight horse, they can kill you just like any other horse. And they're still weighing in at about half a ton. So you don't want them pushing you up against a wall. Some still shots of Farouk. This is uh, the day we bought him. This is me lunging him.
I think that's so funny with the lead rope. It looks like a ghost, doesn't it? Pulling it up and down. Of course, we all know it's Apollo. Inventing his own games as usual. Hoops coming up for, and uh, I'm just now starting to back him properly, just laying across. Those torque grills are so handy because you can hang on to the bars, they're, they're very solid, and so that if he did shake or you know, do something a bit uh, unexpected, I've got something to steady myself with. We're now back to present times, and he's just flying over those jumps as if there's no pole monsters at all. I'm not going to be doing any more jumping now. I'm up now. I'm over sixty, um, just because it's never really been something I've done a lot of, and I certainly don't want to be coming off. And Farouk is so sharp. I'm quite sure if he put a stop in when I wasn't expecting it, we're coming to a jump. I'm quite sure I'd be uh, out the side door. Um, and Apollo, he he's a big jumper and uh, he, he wouldn't do i don't think he'd drop a shoulder and turn uh, away from a jump but um you know that I, I enjoy watching them jump and encouraging them to jump and i think it adds something to their life i think they get confidence from the jumping i think they jolly well enjoy it too and definitely with farouk i can i can see it in his face he he kind of gets this um self-esteem when he does something right you can just see it in his little eyes and his face it's it's almost human like with his expressions of joy really when he when he knows he's done something really well and you've told him he's a good boy he he well he just he's beside himself he's so happy If you've enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. We love reading the comments, we love emojis, and we'd love a thumbs up. If you would like to catch up on some of our earlier videos, just click on the Apollo icon, which will take you to our home page. We have over a thousand videos to choose from. You can also sort by the most popular, the oldest or the newest. Thanks for watching. TTFN.